What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the studio. Hope you're doing well. Today, I'm going to give you a behind the scenes at how I create sneakers with AI. So, we're going to be using a tool called Vizcom, which I've been using for quite a while now. It's completely free. It's an AI image generation tool and it's really, really good. They're not paying me to say this, they're not endorsing me, but it is really, really good. And it's allowed me to convert my ideas from an initial thought or an initial sketch into something that's quite a realistic render. So I'll talk you through my process at a higher level. Currently, I have an idea. Sometimes I'll put a mood board together, sometimes not. It just depends. And I'll put that together either in Figma or in Miro, just a collection of images that I can use to reference when I start sketching. I would then start sketching in this handy little sketchbook I've got. It's almost running out, so I need to top that one up relatively soon. I'll then take a photo of one of the sketches that I really like, import it into Photoshop, clean it up, get rid of any messy edges or anything that's gonna distract from the render. I'll then take that cleaned up image from Photoshop, drop it into Vizcom. I'll go through 20, 50, however many generations. I'll then take those, I'll export them from Vizcom, put them back into Photoshop, clean them up, add any details that I want to add, and then I will export that and share it on social media. But that's my process at a high level. I'm gonna go through that in detail now, so hope you're ready to give this a go with me. Gonna be doing it at the same time, hopefully, so let's get going. Today, we're gonna to be designing a Nike performance running sneaker. I've just recently seen the new Alpha Fly 3, um, which looks crazy, looks like some kind of spaceship. So we're gonna be taking some inspiration from that, but it should be a bit of fun. I started by sketching out what the Alpha Fly 3 looks like, just to get a bit of a look and feel with what I'm uh, kind of comparing my designs against. I then kicked out that heel a little bit. I really like this idea of like a chunky heel and like pulling it out. Tried the reverse swoosh, wasn't really working. Tried this heel with a split in it, wasn't feeling that either. I like this chunk missing out the heel here with that like curvy type shape. So I remember that a little bit. Um, these proportions were quite off, but this one I quite liked. So I remembered this, um, put the zoom pod in the forefoot and dropped in a massive swoosh. I'm in Photoshop now. I'm gonna take the sketch that I just did, drop it in there, clean it up a little bit, and then we can drop it into Viscom. All right, so I'm just gonna drop my sketch in here. I'll make some adjustments, so I'll change the levels. I might have to pull this black a little bit further down. I think that's okay. I'll then get rid of all the saturation as well. So that's black and white now. We're gonna take this now and drop it into Viscom. We are live, we're in Viscom. I'm gonna make a new file. Make it square, create. Okay, now I'll just do that and see what happens. Okay, we're getting there, we're getting there. That is, that, that one might be the one. It looks mad, but I really like that one. So let's just see what else we can create that's kind of similar to this. Ooh. I'm gonna duplicate that and make some edits to this. I'm gonna remove this. Okay, that looks mad. It looks like some kind of shark, alien shark. What I might actually do is make some edits to this. Might even need to come like so. Yeah, that, that works all right. I'm gonna re-render that to 100%. Look at this. We've come a long way from, from this lad. Okay, yeah, this is way better, way, way better. You know what team, I think this is the one. This might be the one. Okay, so I've got my exported file from Viscom. I'm gonna drop it into Photoshop now. So let's take this, drop it into here like so. I just use this uh, the quick select, like selection tool, and then I clean up the edges. So I'll deselect this part around here. And you, there. Okay, here, like you see that bit's missing there. Let's add that back in. Paste this in about here. So these are my defaults. So I have a ground shadow and a background color. And with this image, I will scale it. Also what I do is I will duplicate this, convert this to a smart object, and I will change the levels just so we can kind of, it just looks a lot better when you've got a bit more darkness and lightness. See here, like there's a little hole in there. I'm not really super keen on that, so I'll select that. Content aware fill. Uh, maybe I'll just get rid of those areas because it will make it a bit more. Yeah, there we go. See, so that's gone now. Right, so that's basically it. It's quite a detailed process with quite a lot of steps. Hopefully, it makes sense. If it doesn't, drop a comment, drop me a message, whatever you prefer. 
um, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Shout out to VizCon for making an amazing tool. I've been watching their videos on YouTube as well as other uh, creators online and seeing what they do and kind of replicating some of that process and learning by doing as well. But I really do encourage you to just give it a go. From idea to outcome in an hour, I think is, is crazy. This is really, really changing the game for me and for many others. So with that said, thank you very much for watching. Welcome to the studio and I'll see you around.